Okay, so I'm making two videos. I think, I don't know if it's before this video or after this video where I talk about channel changes. Go check that out, link in the description if I bother putting it in. And today I wanna to talk about what these are and what do they do, especially for those out there that are doing film and then suddenly just see me just drop a video on what a server is and why do I have one. Now, I'm gonna go into a little bit more in-depth analysis on why this exists, why companies have this, um, why people that maybe are big time YouTubers or becoming big time YouTubers should consider getting one. Um, the reason why I have these two servers, these bottom ones down here, uh, those two right there that you see, yeah, those two there you see aren't active, they don't do anything, they're, they're unplugged. Those are, and one day I decided to set up a backup, that's what those will be for, but they're not efficient enough for me to have running all the time. Those two on the top are more efficient. So I'm gonna go and discuss and what a server is in my, you know, in my point of view, in my aspect and what I've learned. And how would this, you know, be beneficiary to you and towards your YouTube channel or towards, you know, production company. So what a server is, is, you know, think of it as your desktop. You have a desktop in your room that, you know, just sits there, chugs along. Now, if you start leaving that running 24 seven, um, with the operating system has like Windows 7 or Mac OS or something like that, those aren't really meant to be left running 24 seven all day long in many cases. It can be, but a lot of people start going towards more server operating systems or Linux, which I'm not in Linux yet. I have to go back and take more classes on that because Linux to me is just, ah, so I have to start learning Linux if I want to become a better IT. So. What a server is, is a dedicated piece of hardware that was designed and made to save space, which I'm not saving space at all because they're not neatly packed together. Designed to save space, which is also, you know, designed to be ran 24 seven. They have two power supplies um, and they will have multiple hard drives that are all synced together in a RAID. So one fails, you swap out the hard drive and you put another one in and it starts adding all the files back onto that hard drive. I'll have to discuss in another video what RAIDs are. Now, once you get a server, you go ahead and you hook it up to your network, you plug it in and you put it in a spot where it's not gonna annoy you that has an AC control environment, not this area here. Um, and once you go ahead and do that, or, um, or in a, a temperature controlled environment, which this area is pretty much insulated if you see what's behind me. And so with all of that in mind, you set it all up um, and now you choose your OS of like, you can go ahead and get free NAS, you can go ahead and get Windows Server 2012, an older version if you can, if you can't afford it. Or if you're in college, go through DreamSpark and set up um, an account with your school and then go ahead and download the version of OS that you like to choose and put it on a server and it's free while you're still in college. So with having a server and all that, just remember that this may be power consuming. If you're not willing to pay the extra overhead for a server, they get a small little NAS or something like that to back up everything. But they can, But another cool thing about servers is that if you watch Linus Tech Tips, you can use this for rendering. You can edit off your laptop uh, through a gigabit ethernet connection and then upload it straight into the server render it through the program if you're liking, and then export it, send it back, and then upload it from the server, or bring it back to your laptop, and then upload it directly to YouTube. Uh, I think that's the best few things I can get from, from where I am currently, where others are, with if they want to get a server for the house, but, and there'll have to be another video of me discussing it more in a business environment, and why would these would be used, and why you see these a lot, like at grocery stores, or offices, or, you know, um, just in many locations, you're going to see these everywhere nowadays, more and more as, you know, uh, more businesses decide to go ahead and advance in their technology and, and upgrade their, and if, cut. I'm getting too ahead of myself, so that, that's all for this video. Uh, this is just a very, very basic video of me discussing what a server is, in my point of view, what I use it for. Um, if you guys really want a more in-depth video of what it really is, there is many videos out there. But if you guys want, you know, more videos of me discussing technology like this, go ahead and leave a like below. Um, and as, as for anything, this is Greg from Legacy Productions. And well, see you on the next one.